In this video, I'm going to show you the uh, formulation for the lactating feeds and also the importance of feed and feeding the lactating sow. So kindly view, subscribe, like and share. Thank you for the support. Uh, as we continue, I'll also give you all the raw materials needed to mix uh, lactating feeds. Thank you. This video looks at how maintaining high levels of feed intake during lactating will not only benefit the litter currently on the sow, but subsequent litters as well as improve the sow's overall productivity. Problems may arise, especially in parity one or two sows, if they do not consume enough feed in lactation to meet their energy requirements for maintenance, growth and milk production. If this happens, milk production declines and conditioning is lost as fat reserves are mobilized to synthesize milk. This loss of fat and accompanying loss of protein must both affect reproductive performance. The sow's winning to rebreeding interval will be extended and farrowing rate and subsequent litter size is also challenged as the number of eggs ovulated decreases. Remember, feeding a lactating sow with right raw materials culminates to the sow quick recovery in body weight after farrowing and also it produces a lot of milk. The effect of decreased feed intake on the sow's litter is also important. There is a direct correlation of feed intake and piglet performance. As feed intake increases, milk production rises. This pregnant saw has furrowed 10 piglets now. Very nice, very beautiful. We have a Hampshire D-Rock, as you can see. They are 10 in number. And they are very beautiful. We have uh, D-Rocks because the, the ball was a mixture. It's a mixture of uh, large white and D-Rock. And as you can see, they are very healthy. Increasing piglet growth rates. A sow that is milking well should also have decreased pre-weaning mortality rates. There are a number of things that can be done to ensure that sows will be consuming sufficient feed to avoid excessive weight loss during lactation. Under normal commercial conditions, it is unlikely that gestation feed levels will influence litter size unless feed intake is restricted significantly, reducing ovulation rate and subsequent embryo survival. Targets for weight gain in gestation should be based on back fat at the time of weaning and her weight at weaning. Sows at all parities should have 18 to 20 mm back fat at the time of farrowing. Sows should be fed an extra 1 kg of feed at day 100 from breeding. Thus, it is important that an adequate amount of fresh feed is kept before lactating sows at all times in adequately designed feeders that do not restrict feed intake. Stockmen should be aggressive in getting sows onto full feed as quickly as possible, especially for the shorter lactation periods now common in our industry. It has also been shown that protein content and quality of lactation diet may influence feed intake. Sows eating diets containing 12 to 14 percent crude protein ate less than sows consuming diets of 16 to 18 percent crude protein. Increased protein levels also has the effect of increased piglet weaning weights. Protein concentration in the diet also affects conception rates and days to heat post winning. Imagine the type of diet is also shown to have an effect on total feed consumed. It has also been shown that, that the wet feed is more readily consumed than dry feed. Mounting the nipple drinker over the feeder may stimulate feed intake. Water management during lactation should ensure a flow rate of 2 liters per minute from easily accessible drinkers. It is important to, no to note, however, that Wet feed should be removed regularly to ensure a clean supply of feed free from fermentation and or molds. What I am teaching you today is about post 
furrowing and pre-furrowing of a sow. So ensure that environment will also play a part in feed consumption while sows are in the furrowing rooms. It is important to ensure that a warm micro environment is available for piglets while the room as a whole is kept at, temper at a temperature low enough to ensure proper feed intake for the sow. Higher temperatures for a couple of days pre and post furrowing is required for the sow and piglets at this vulnerable time. After this, the temperature of the room should be dropped to 18.5 to 19.5 degrees Celsius. Proper ventilation rates ensuring an adequate supply of clean fresh air is also required. It has also been shown that increasing the number of daylight hours to 16 hours in comparison to 8 hours in the farrowing room will increase feed intake, improve rebreeding performance, and result in higher weaning weights at 21 days of age. Large differences in sow productivity exist from one management system to another, and this may in fact be due to a large extent on feed and feeding programs over a sow's reproductive lifetime. Now, it is uh, good to note that proper feeding during gestation conditions the sow and enables her to manage feed intake during lactation, resulting in a larger number of high-weight piglets being weaned. Pig feed intake during lactation along with proper health care and environment will also improve reproductive performance in subsequent litters when considering farrowing rate and numbers born alive. I'm now going to show you how you can uh, mix your own feeds for the lactating sow. This is the formulation which adds up to one ton, that is 1000 kilograms. Uh, let me start with the, all the ingredients and the raw materials which are needed. You need to have maize jam, rice polish, wheat bran, soya full fat, sunflower, copra, groundnut, limestone, saw premixes, lysine, therionine, methionine, yeast, toxin binder, enzyme, salt, DCP, and lipido. In this ratio you have to mix them well. Maize jam you need 430 kilograms. Rice polish you need 130 kilograms. Wheat bran you need 120 kilograms. Soya full fat you need 70 kilograms. Pre so premixes you need 2.5 kilograms. Lysine you need 2 kilograms. There you need you need 1.3 kilograms. Methionine, you need 0 0.56, that's a, like a half kg. Also, yeast, you need 2 kgs. Toxin binder, you need 1 kilogram. Enzyme, you need 1 kilogram. DCP, you add 3 kilogram. Lipidol, you add uh, at 1 kg. Salt, 4 kg. You need to have limestone, which is 25 kilograms groundnuts which is 30 kilograms and copra which is 40 kilograms with all this you are you are now good to go and mix your lactating pig feed which will enhance milk production and also the body recovery your piglets will be very healthy and will be very heavy and it, this will uh, make you win them at a shorter time Thank you. Continue subscribing. Continue liking my video. Continue commenting on this. Any question you need. Also, you are free to share the video. Thank you very much for the support.